Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, the legendary Iron Man uh, Army of One run, or Lone Wolf run. My name is Saiken and we're playing on the highest difficulty, trying to beat the game with only a single operative permission. I got a treat for you after so much grinding. I think it is time to, to get real and start with the next mission on the Golden Path or the Golden Track, which is the Advent Black Side, by looking at the advent black side since we can, uh, can only take a single soldier to it gotta make sure that we are aware so codex not a problem archon not a problem uh, priests uh, we can mine shield against them elite shield bearer not a problem elite lancer not a problem max not a problem trooper good andromedon good sector we can uh, mine shield spectre need to be careful but the mind shield will at least prevent us from being unconscious it will uh, create a clone of ours but it will not um, kill us and the mutant is a natural enemy or counter to the templar that we're going to use so that is going to be a bit more difficult 16 enemies and i'm pretty sure we're going to see the chosen as well Hogbite is going to be our Templar, and you can already see we trained him up quite well. We're going to go in with the Mind Shield, and that's pretty much it. Let's see if this is going to work out. I'm not 100% sure, but it is definitely going to give us an indication where we stand and how well we're going to do. If this mission is going to be an issue, don't even think about attempting the further mission. So it gives us sort of uh, an, an indication where we stand. As for Hogbite and his my biggest concerns in terms of enemies, we need to be careful of Vipers because uh, they're, as if they start directly next to us, the bind, so that them wrapping around us, cannot be parried. That is important. If they tongue grab us, it can definitely <clears throat> be retaliated and can even be parried. So that's important to know. They are main targets. Uh, Spectres are definitely going to be one of the main targets due to their ability to theoretically take us out or create a duplicate of us. And specifically also because they do have lightning reflexes, so we can't just stand next to them and let um, let uh, the Bladestorm uh, deal with them. It's not going to happen. So both of them are dangerous. The rest of the enemies, maybe mutants, are also a bit of a problem. The rest of the enemies is okay. We're immune against all physical um, abilities. So that means poison, fire, um, any any sort of acid. That's not going to hurt us. We're immune against all of the mental abilities. And as you can see, I beefed him up quite a bit. We changed our uh, we changed our PCS. So we have one super soldier. And that needs to be enough. I want to make the first, by the way, look at look at his movement. This is insane. Like he can he could almost almost move entirely to uh, to the um, final target and grab it. But we're not going to do that. I want to use Blade Storm as much as possible, so we're not going to waste our concealment on just that tower. And the idea is really hit and run until we get enough to summon up a ghost. Since we have so much movement, should be able to simply outmaneuver the enemies. Probably need to get a little bit more movement still. My main concern is by moving in too deep, although we can move in pretty, pretty damn deep, 
were being spotted out and I don't want that to happen. Alright, so we're waiting for the first enemy pack to appear. The idea will be once we find a good pack to ambush we should be able to directly jump onto them I trust in your command. get one hit off and the blade storm should uh, should get multiple additional hits off good so let's give it a go Don't want to go too deep into the uh, into the field. It's just a very high chance to be spotted out. Then, pretty sure we're going to find some patrol very very soon. We're not on a timer here, so can keep it nice and nice and slow. This here definitely is a new tile. Never seen that before. I comply. It's a War of the Chosen tile. Like what? That's only a single enemy? No. Okay, perfect. We're we're seeing two of them. Good. We're not attacking the Codex, we're going to attack the Archon. With that, the Codex will normally run away. That will trigger a Blade Storm attack. If we were to attack the Codex, it'll um, split because we're not dealing enough damage to kill it. Good. And with that, let's start our journey. There we go. Nice little hit. That's a blade storm hit. And that's another blade storm hit. Good. These guys are cloning one another. Uh, they uh, they clone themselves. So, like I was saying, we're using mobility in our uh, in our favor. You can't outmaneuver a codex because it can teleport, but we certainly can outmaneuver uh, the archon, which deals way more damage. And look at that! Who just joined? Good old assassin. Can I uh, enter Overwatch? That's not a problem. Can uh, summon beasts? That's not a problem either. Is immune to explosions? We don't care. Reveals us? We don't care either. Yep, I think we're going to be fine. We can one on one her. I don't see any issue with that. As for Hogbite stats, we're in the mid 40s with uh, hit points. We have similar amounts of movement, can even move further than that. My only regret with uh, so much movement is uh, that you don't have the Phoenix Point uh, sort of movement logic where partial movement doesn't end your turn. That's a bit of a bummer. but. Whatever, it's still okay.
Ah, look at you. So I'm wondering... Mm, if we were to stand here... That'll be two kills, I think. Might as well give it a try, I'm pretty sure it is. Because both of them will move. Well, she's teleporting, that will not, uh, not be a kill. But we're not affected by the psionic bomb. This here is definitely a kill. Good. The Chosen is going to move into our direction. She's not going to reach us this turn. Good, we're building up focus and we can go into parry. The tower is not going to hit us. Chosen started back here. Moved once, it's probably around here. End of the turn, we'll move to here. Yeah, it's, she's not going to reach us yet. So, two enemies down, 16 to go. You can already see that these missions are going to be tense because there's there ain't no sneaking around. This is pretty much do or die. Can't summon a ghost yet, which is a bummer. But we can take care of the tower. Or at least start taking care of the tower. There we go. Halfway down. And moving out of range. Good. She's probably somewhere around here. So I will try to spot her out, <coughs> but I might not be successful with that. A good place to essentially spot somewhere around here. <laughs> Surprise! Hmm. Before we now go and fight her, let's just make sure we're getting rid of the tower. I don't want to have constant harassment and shots by it. Good. We can't outrun the Chosen, so we're going to go for parry. Worst potential summoning that she could have taken. Oh, holy shit. Well, she's... <coughs> she is... Um, she's our natural enemy, so that's why she took extra damage. Nice.
All right, the Berserks shouldn't be an issue. And we might even out uh, outmaneuver the Chosen. Not sure. She's really fast. But we are also really fast. Like, really, really fast. So far, we haven't even taken damage. All right, she has some Vanishing Winds going. Um, we could hit him. We're going into parry. We're going into parry, which means uh, Bladestorm, Bladestorm will be two hits. We're blocking his and whatever the Chosen has will probably hit us. But since she has Vanishing Winds, she could come from anywhere, any, uh, anyhow. So it's a bit futile thinking about that. Might have used the movement action to, to scout around, but it's really random. We're dealing really decent amounts of damage. Not sure why I did not per parry that. I am not sure why I did not parry that. Wow, that was a lot of damage. We can stand through that. We can actually make two attacks and we parry. The Berserk will die. Bladestorm kills it before the parry. And we can hit her with Bladestorm as well. How is she hitting me? I should be able to, uh, to, to parry that. Well, something to consider. It's absolutely under the impression. I was absolutely under the impression that I could parry her attacks. Good. Let's see, I will finish her. Could have played that a bit better, like taking nine damage less than that. But we're still okay, just need to heal now. Yeah, we showed the Chosen who's boss, but we also lost 20 hit points in the process of doing that. Uh, most damage was definitely from uh, from her attacks, and we weren't able to really to really do anything against them, which is annoying. I was hoping that that would be the case. Just double checking if there's any sort of enemy group here. 
This here might be one. Not sure. Might as well just move there. If it's a group, we get a couple of free Bladestorm attacks. If not, it's fine. <laughs> Game knowledge at its finest. So we will kill this guy and we are being able to parry. So we will take zero damage by staying here. There we go. One down. There we go. Another parry because we will kill the suit. And we'll be able to parry him. Nope, even better. He moves into our direction, into our uh, melee range attack and gets Blade Storm kill. There we go. So that's two further kills. We're four kills down, plus a chosen. Fourteen more to go. Overwatch to see if someone just runs into us. I'd like to heal up, so we need some sort of um, human. So we can go for Void Conduit. Still can't summon the ghost, which is a bummer. So next pack's over there. We can't find anyone here. It's a bit like fishing in the dark here. That might be something. Yep. Okay. I would say this here might be a pack. In case you're wondering, I'm looking for spots that have been occupied by enemies. There you go. That way I can find out where enemies are, since I know the map by heart. 
we'll essentially get three bonus attacks out of it. <coughs> Good. We gotta move a bit away from those guys here. Can't hit them all. Uh, maybe I can. Let's play it safe though. I would want the priest to come to me so that we can use Void Conduit to keep him. And essentially heal up a bit. Moving over here. Can't find the priest. He might have started to move away. He's right down there, so he could still go for a stasis. I don't want that to happen. So we're just moving out of line of sight. <clears throat> Thanks to our in enormous movement speed, nothing is going to be able to just catch up. Alright, perfect. Next turn we're going to take care about the priest. I still don't want to be stasis. Chosen is uh, damaged us way more than I would have expected. I mean, everyone else did like, what, one point and one times two points of damage, like three overall, and the Chosen did 18. Good. Time for a ghost. With a ghost I do have a partner in crime, finally. Unfortunately, we pulled another pack, which is very much unforeseen. Spectre is dangerous, but not that dangerous, so...
Moving up here, plus Perry. The ghost unfortunately already used one of his charges. As the blade storm attack, we almost got the Andromedon down. The ghost should have fortress. Not sure why he was taking damage. Let's double check and see where the Spectre is. Moving a bit to the back here. We're going to heal ourselves. And we're simply going to stay here. No, nope, we're not going to attack. We're simply going to stay here. Hogbite has been healed for two points. It's unfortunately not that much, but it's better than nothing. We're being put into a stasis. That's okay. I can live with that. Oh, look at you. Well, there's the reveal. I'm not afraid. If he clones our... Uh, I'm not even sure if he can clone our uh, clone. Probably not. Both of us are immune to mind control. And two blade storms are going to make short process. Let's get our focus level back to level three. Good. Ghosts moving into cover. Hunkers down. That guy will fall into sustenance. Yep.
You know, it doesn't matter. I was hoping we could grab this guy and essentially um, drain him for some more hit points, but unfortunately, that just doesn't fly. He instead will take a blade storm attack or two in this case and simply die now. So that's three down, four if you uh, if you take the tower into account, three further uh, soldiers here. Uh, that is seven, two packs of two, that is uh, nine, eleven. So we're looking at five more enemies. Our health is absolutely stable ever since. Okay. Your life is in my hands. So this essentially draining some more health. And this guy is going to die anyways, where I'm not going even going to try. You can close the door. One hit point stolen, by the way. We need enemies with more hit points. Those guys here are not worth our time. A simple laser sight. How cute. All right. So that means we only have, I think, one more pack left over. There's a hole in the wall here. Very strange. Hole in the wall looks like an Andromedon has moved through it. Good, we're missing Vipers. I don't know if there had been Vipers. I don't remember if there had been Vipers on the radar. I think sectoids might be the last ones. You heard the doctor. Secure that canister. Not sure if I can void conduit a sector. It says tap a humanoid into a psionic prison, which I would assume a, uh, a sector does not count as such.
No, it does not. Well. Let's kill it. So before we're parrying, let's move the ghost over here, which will be an auto kill for that sector. And we're parrying, essentially dealing with the Andromedon. I mean, once we dealt with uh, the chosen one, it felt that everything else was, yeah, pretty much okay. It's a miss, buddy, and even if you uh, would have hit, there would have been a reflect and a deflect and a dodge. So I don't even think that you would have been successful. Good, this guy is going to be tag teamed. Unfortunately, don't have the Void Conduit. It's a bit limited. Probably should have used it better against the Humanoid targets. And I could have probably filled him up. Maybe up to 40 hit points. And we're doing exactly that. Just for shits and giggles, I want to finish uh, this series here with a double camp on their spawn. If they're unlucky, it could be up to six blade storm attacks. Well, guess we're not trapped in here, in here with you. You seem to be trapped in here with us. Mua. It's one down. <laughs> That's two down. And this guy's the only survivor. Interestingly enough, he's a good target for Void Conduit. Love it. 
Finally, we get some corpses. Finally, we get some corpses. So good news is there are only going to be two reinforcements and that's about it. Bad news for them is we're going to definitely go, uh, use the spawn location here. <laughs> Single step and he immediately falls into sustenance. Well, bad luck, buddy. going to be the only one surviving the whole show. You can already see the mechanism how I am going to try to attempt the last mission. Of course we Definitely need more. Um, we definitely need more hit points, as as you have seen. But we also won't be alone. There will be the commander, psionic character. So if we take some damage, the right enemies could heal us back up. Pretty solid mission. Something different. If you wonder how far are we down uh, down uh, the way towards the last mission, we're certainly not there. As as you could tell, there is more grinding needed. But on the other hand, Hotbite did way better than I would have expected. Specifically, the normal fights against uh, all of the packs were rather easy. Okay, given most of the packs were not end game packs as well. So they were yeah, mid mid range or mid game packs. It's clear that he definitely had an upper hand against them. But yeah, none of the combinations really po uh, caused any issue to us short of the chosen herself. Yeah, we took a hit, but we got the black side vial done. And I think that's also a good point to end this mission, uh, or this uh, this episode here. We still have a couple of other golden uh, source or golden path missions, which are going to happen. Not immediately, Hogbite needs to recover, and I think we still need to get further into the training. I do have a number on top of my head that I calculated for a potential run for the last mission in terms of how many hit points we need. And it's a lot guys, I can tell you that. So there is more grinding involved. Uh, thank you so much for watching so far. And if you enjoyed the content, leave a comment down below as well as what you think about the Lone Wolf Challenge. Thanks and have a great evening. Bye bye.